I'm Bjorn Forsberg and we are located in Los Altos, California in my ham radio shack actually and what we're going to do today is to try to see if we can get an old von Lieben tube to work after a hundred years. Uh, von Lieben, they came from Austria, got a patent in about 1910 for a tube like this but that was an electrostatic tube. Uh, this one is like a triode where you have a filament in the bottom, you have a grid, a perforated part here, and then the little spiral anode on the top. And he got the patent in 1912 for this tube. And that was just about the same era when Lee de Forest got his Audion patents. But Van Lieben got a patent a little bit earlier than uh, de Forest for an amplifier. Now what we have here in the background is a replica of the amplifier that was used. It was built by Telefunken in 1912, 1913 approximately. And on top here there is an RF adapter. It's nothing else really but a connector between the tube which goes on top and the amplifier itself. Now the amplifier is a transformer coupled amplifier. Uh, with the transformer on the input and one on the output and we are going to put the tube in carefully there we are this one is about a hundred years old it was made approximately 1912 and the amplifier that it sits in is a replica amplifier from Telefunken an EV72 amplifier and the little round thing on the top is a RF adapter. So what I will do, I'll heat it up to about maybe 20 volts. The operating voltage is normally 30 volts. So we heat it up to 20 and let it sit there for a few minutes and then I'm going to heat the little pellet here with a heat gun to try to get the pressure up because if I I don't want to have any gradients uh, in the uh, glass envelope before I start the heat gun on this one here. And there are only supposed to be 25 of these tubes in the world. So it makes it a little bit uh, rare. And what happens if, what, what could possibly happen bad about this? Well, the only bad thing that can happen uh, is maybe that the filament would break. Nothing else. I don't think it will explode. I don't think we will disappear in the black hole. Anything of that nature, but uh, it will, uh, it could, it could eventually break. Now the filament is made out of platinum, which makes it uh, quite hard. Okay, I have 220 volts anode. Got it. Got it. I'll put the grid voltage plus 15. The grid is positive. And we do have, <clears throat> we do have filament current. It's slowly coming up. And here I have one ampere, and that's at eight volts. We have a glow. I see a glow. Yes. Um, Stu, can you turn down the? Yeah, there's a glow. There is a glow, and uh, now the glow is getting a little bit more uniform, which is nice. First time I've ever seen a von Lieben tube with a lit filament, so uh, it's quite exciting. So uh, anyhow, we had another unforeseen power supply failure, unfortunately. Um, and uh, we made lots of progress because we seemingly have a tube which is good, in to the filament wise at least. So the filament lights up and um, fairly, uh, fairly good at uh, 20, what did we have, 24 volts? 20, 24. 24 volts, yeah. So um, it seems to be a pretty, um, pretty normal tube. So what we will do, we'll get another power supply, third time, third time will be the good time, and uh, do the same experiment again. And uh, we'll keep you posted when we do that. So, 
Welcome to the third attempt in my quest of trying a 100-year-old von Lieben tube. Uh, last session we had a little problem with the power supply in that it uh, malfunctioned. We found out that it was just a little diode in it which is now fixed and we have tried the supply and hopefully this time it will not blow up on us but we have to have a successful test. Third time is the charm as they say. With the anode voltage on, which is 220 volts, we have a, uh, I'm going to increase the grid voltage. It takes a positive grid voltage, and we get that one up at 15 volts. We start with that. 220 volts. Okay. No filament as of yet. We have 100 millivolts on the input to the amplifier, just a, a 1 kilohertz uh, tone. And the output we are monitoring with an oscilloscope to see if we get any amplification. So last time we got the tube to glow a little bit uh, for a few minutes until the power supply gave up. And at that time, I had cranked it up to approximately 24 volts, I believe it was. So let us start and wish us luck. All right, I'm increasing the voltage slowly. We're not going to... I don't want that 100-year-old filament to to break too early. I don't want it to break at all. Eight volts, nine volts, 15 volts. I'll let it rest there for a minute. We got uh, 1.9 ampere, 28. I'll let it be there. 2.6 amps voltage. And then I'm going to increase the anode voltage uh, a bit. <coughs> That's the plan. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. 